Welcome to the channel guys. Today, as I promised, I managed to pick up my whole stuff and um, I have uh, well, we have already made a, a, a video based on, on a mount in the mountain machine, right? So it was basically a basic one. Today is a bit more, more let's say, uh, on deep, right? So it's like I will put a capacitor, I will explain why this capacitor, why the direction of the capacitor, uh, what the capacitor does, uh, coils, direction of coils, so here we have uh, the, the, the amateur bar with everything already on, so it's different amateur bars and thickness and so on. And the chassis I choose is one of my, was in my storage, so basically it's been with me for a very long time. It's, a, it's an old school chassis from a company called National from USA. They have uh, this very nice shape. Uh, one I really like it. It's a Puma. They call Puma, Puma, whatever calls that. And the clothes here is very, very cool. Basically, it's a very old chassis. I don't know. I cannot tell you how old is it, really. But it's really, really cool. And I, as I am a big fan of uh, like uh, coil machines, even if I work no more with them, unfortunately. I still am a big fan of them. I think this is a big history of tattooing based on that. And this is one of the traditional, very traditional shapes or traditional design of chassis. It started from the 50s now or something earlier even, right? So that was a very basic um, design. And uh, National made a really good uh, good work on them for through the years. And I have this for some reason for many years. It's, base, it's been there. So here I have uh, my welder weldering stuff which is I have for many years too uh, also the ones I used back in the day to to welder my my needles and so on which I will show you in future videos here um, and this this specific machine here I have one I found today actually was in my box I didn't even knew I was this machine was in my box crazy um, this is a Spalding Rogers it's a very old machine as well doesn't look old it looks Pretty, pretty neat and brand new, but the original, the coil is not original anymore. I, I pretty much changed a lot on that. I can see that. So the the, the front binning and the back contact, the front and back contact is original. Just the coils are not original. Everything else is original. So I actually will put back into original again to keep original. This is a very nice machine. So guys, first of all, you have to always decide. To, you know, you have to take care of to see the height of the coils. If the height is precise, right? So if you get too high, of course, they will not work. And if you get so... Also, the direction of the coils are very important. So you have a here the short cable and the longer cable. So the short cable is always in the back. So And the front cable is in the front, okay? Then you have these two cables here, which is the inner part of the coils and the out part of the coil. So the coils are wrapped in a sense, let's say... Um, Let's use this as simple. So it's like a piece of a, a metal, uh, and then they wrap wire around, which I have here some wire, which this is the wire which you use uh, for coils, yeah, for to wrap around the coil. And they get this, put it like that, and start to wrap around on the metal. So it calls the, the, the the nucleo of the coil and do wraps like a amount of wraps on it so and then one part which is the inner part it stays to, to connect both coils together and out part which is the left from when you finished that one you connect to the front or the back of the, the machine right so here we go so this is exactly what it is as you can see here you have a short a short possible like a three to five centimeters long and a bit longer, seven, eight centimeters long cable, middle, which is, uh, and then that is, you don't, you cannot see it because you have a, a like a, um, a, they call shrink wrap around of the coils. I have so many coils here actually. Okay, anyways, so um, let's now get distracted on this. Uh, so then you measure it like the coils look, 
pretty decent here to see if they fit because sometimes the coin is too thick for this type of one that works good for this type of machine so just you just should just put them in place to see how they look like right don't tie it up anything never never tie things together like in the first place you just put them just tie just just touch them enough that they they don't blend around and then don't shake around and stuff but still there enough space to move them around when you need to but you can Check them out. Uh, wrong key. Ah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have one specific one. This is. Let um, me see. Perfect. Yeah. I marked this key a few years ago with a little tape in there because then I don't lose this much, this this key because I think this is one of kind <laughs> here on my box. Okay. Anyway, so then here, as you can see, you have this connection between the coils in between this coil is brand new never been used so uh well this is very very cool um, bum, bum, bum. let's put this back oops, 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 oops. sorry guys here and uh you know something okay i put backwards a little bit so because i like to come from behind my machine so then I think this machine is more like a liner machine so means my capacitor should be smaller fine capacitor to speed up the machine more um, hmm, good question. I need to get um, a capacitor for that oh, here we go I have one here uh, pa, 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 pa. So, so I got the wrong one there so here I have a good one uh, for this specific specific um, yeah, so I got here for this job, right? Um, yeah, that's right. So here, guys, I can I can I can share with you exactly the difference between them both. So you can see here the difference in sizes, right? They are exactly the same from the same company. You can see they are building the same company. They're made by some company, sorry, and, and but they have a different size. Reason why? Right. So this is basically what I call the filter for the power. So it goes to connect to coils. Uh, this is the smaller one, is a fast, the fast response, so they make the machine faster. Meh. So that is for liner. This is a small, a bigger one, they make the machine more slow, shader or packing or color, or solid or whatever. So that is why the reason they are big. So if you make a liner with this, you would use more for, um, let's say, bold lining, power lining, and so on and so on. This is more for fine lining, up to nine, mag nine liners would work with this guy. So here we go, I have a this here. For my and the reason why I have the welder is because I need I need to put them together. So it means I have a pretty much everything the coils that came with them already, and I have this I need to get this together here. Okay, so these guys here need to be welded in here. So basically, what you do you just bend over a little bit like that. Well, I don't believe you guys are gonna really need this or maybe it's just nice for having this information you know you always have this kind of extra info you can use in case you want to to fall that way one day you know you have this extra extra info but and i believe if you if you guys out there want to learn about tattooing you need to learn you should learn a bit of about the history of tattooing about also about uh, different materials you know it's been there because we have uh, nowadays everything so easy uh, so easy for so everything is there basically you no know? you don't need to do anything but uh, in the end of the day you know it would be nice to to have a back when i started tattooing nothing was there you had to do everything you have to learn everything everything was different it doesn't mean it has to be like that today nowadays you know the other way around but it's nice to have the info it's nice to have everything covered so uh the reason why i'm doing this is like this is just because i want them to be tied together yeah. so i want to make that sure that they be okay i'm just cover so we have to cover the, the the wires always you know, you should cover the wires as well. 
so then they don't have a, like a, 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 a they call good circuit or something like that. So don't have the problem to touch this chassis and then the machine just get into good circuit and blow or even worse destroy your power supply whatsoever. As I said, you know, unfortunately people don't do these things anymore. It's kind of lost in time. But it would be nice to 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 have this this knowledge, you know. So I can share with you guys. I like it. It's something I really need always, yeah. So here the capacitor for for liner is called it's, it's a five a 35 volts 47 UF LS. The one for 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 liner for sorry for shading and packing is a 47 UF 50 volts four. So it's a different sort of capacitor. Okay, so I will put them together. And then we're gonna go on from there. Moment. It's pretty cool. I love this stuff. Um, so first, what I would recommend: don't do this without tools, please, because you can burn your fingers, and obviously, it's not funny. So I, I do like that. I hold with a little plier, tiny one. And first I do a little drop of welder in here. When it doesn't like, like to stick, then we have a little solution, which I really don't like it because I have a bad memory of it. When I used to do mount my needles, I used to have this on my fingers and that was bad. I had a really bad, like my nails was completely gone. Okay, now it works, perfect. Really good, really good. So, there we go. And, uh, I don't believe many of you are gonna need this, you know, it's just like extra information, extra knowledge. But unfortunately, people don't use these beauties anymore. You don't have to, you know, the technology is there for being used, of course, but at the end of the day, it's nice to have it. So then I would make softer to get that together and then just weld. Here we go. So here we have the first one done. Yeah. So it's nice, clean, neat. And you have the cable isolated. Then you have another surround wrapper here which you have you can hit with a heating gun or hair dryer or even if a lighter hits it, shrinks it, and protects the cable. Okay, then the next one, which I have to see where the, this mess is. Maybe it's still in the back. Yeah, it's still here. Um, and then, I'm gonna use the next one. And then the second one, the same thing. Use the little ply again. Like that, just a little drop of this nasty, beautiful acid, which is best best friend of my of the fingers. Not, it's just a joke, guys. Okay, like that. Again, same thing. Then you got this. I used to love this. When I was uh, starting tattooing, I used to read a lot of this stuff. Oops, it can go wrong sometimes, of course. Yeah, again, there we go. So here we have again the same thing, the same, same but different. And here. Then we have a little ply to cut the extra if you have an extra left. There. So I would suggest always if you want to do stuff like this, have a little toolkit handy because that's very hel very helpful to, to deal with things. Yeah? So basically that's what it is, you know, clean, super clean detail. And then you have this round wrap, so or shrink wrap, whatever you call uh, where you come from. Here I, I knew UK we call a shrink wrap, um, I don't know in America how they call this. 
Um, I need uh, lighter. Hmm. Good point. Where do I find lighter? Do I have a lighter? Because of course, I'm not smoking, so I don't have a lighter. Hold it hanging around. <laughs> okay, let's do the old school way. As is a heating thing, you just can touch this and will shrink as it should. You know, it doesn't burn because it's, it's supposed to be. It has a certain tolerance of the heat, so. Super nice in this one because I don't have the right heating. The heating should be more consistent from every angle, but here, what's the most important part, it stays beautiful. So nice works. So the other, the other one, I will make shorter, much shorter, so we don't have it. So okay. So then the other side, same thing, please. Get the heating, the welding thing. And again, works really perfectly. Okay, that is it. It's the, basically what the, this is for, just to protect your connections, to not touch this chassis and cause trouble to your power supply or to even to the machine to stop to work while you're working or also on. Okay, so. So knowledge, you guys, is never this, you know, it's never too much to have. Um, as I said, maybe you're never going to need it, you're never going to use this information because you know, you're know you never going to use a tattoo machine like that. But it's nice to have if you buy a machine which you don't, you need to do your maintenance, you do your stuff, ah, nasty. Uh, you can do your own, okay? So basically then what it is is this, then you have here a, is, does you have a, a unidirection. Here is this little na na like a narrow, is an arrow kind of thing going on. So it says up, okay. So then this means the little ring is below under, and then the other one is top, okay. Yeah, exactly. Okie dokie. And then here, I could you could make it together like that. I put together like this, and then you can start with your front contact. Here we go. Yeah, I, I used to have a lot of these machines which I build my own. I mean, buy them in parts, yeah? It doesn't mean I build myself. Unfortunately, I work with people who build machines. That's why I have a, a, a blast to have this, a lot of knowledge about them. And I really like machines, no? But um, I work with people who actually was tattoo, tattoo machine builders. And these guys were amazing guys. They did a lot of good, uh, good stuff. And that's why I learned this from. And um, knowing that, of course, I I had the pleasure to to have uh, all this this knowledge from. No? And so, but I never really built my own machine like from scratch, like I built my own chassis. And, 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 and I it helped them to do that, but I never did it myself. So basically, then you have to make sure that this is aligned to the back. So if you look like this, it's 100% aligned to the back back hole here, where it's gonna be your your back uh, spring contact, right? So that okay, it stays here, goes to the back there. I would do always from behind, so it stays close to the the coils like that. So that is how it gonna looks like. Oops, I forgot one little detail. <laughs> uh, this, because this chassis is a back, is a, is a funny way to, they build this chassis in a funny way. Um, normally, we put everything from behind here, but because the space is not so much, 
I need to get a. <coughs> is this the same one? I'm not gonna want a different one. Hopefully, this guy will do it. Um, tum, 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 tum. So, yes, some American parts doesn't fit the same screws. Oh, yeah, as I, I was, I was predicting, it doesn't work. Hmm. So be bear with me, guys. I need to find the right screw for this. Okay, one second, let me see if this works. Perfect, found the right one. The right screw is here, and then I need to put this one, this here, this here, and then move the coil very, very gentle. Reason why? Because these cables are very sensitive, the, the inner cables of the coils. If you just mess with them a little bit, kaput breaks, and then you have a a problem. Let's put it now. Okay. Uh, normally, I would put these cables all together in the, between the, ca the the coil and um, the thing, but this unfortunately doesn't work. So I have to use the, what I have, which is this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Ha. Okay, here we have a problem. Another problem. So we have to change again. I have to change for another. So yeah, this is these machines because they are made in America. They have a, the chassis, no? They have very specific sizes, and then, then of course, if you want to put parts which they are not belong to them, you have you, you could you could find yourself with some sort of issues to find the right screws, the right this, right there. And luckily, I have pretty much everything from back in the day. Fantastic. Uh, I can really deal with that. But if you if you don't have it, then you have an issue. Okay, this is not going. Same, so it doesn't make sense to change it. I'm gonna have to do this way because the coils have an issue to fit together because they are, they are not they are thick. They are the ten wrap coils, and then the they are the machine is not made for the chassis is not made for ten wrap. They made for eight, eight American American wraps, and that's not gonna fit in here. I'm afraid I have to change the coins for this guy. Put the uh, smaller coins. Would be those ones there. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It happens if you don't plan them right ahead. You know that you have to change a lot of things around. This coil don't fit, unfortunately. The bony ones. But I have other ones which would fit. They are here already. Uh, for some reason I have them already there. They came already for the capacitor, so the capacitor welding was more to show you guys. And yeah, we'll fit. This this fits pretty well. It's pretty decent as well as the cool coils I got from some friend back in the day, I guess. So they've never been used. And now here we go. We have everything here. So where do, where are we? Oh, here. Uh, this this is from the right. Nope, that's not working. Sorry guys, it's taken this a bit too long. Didn't expect to find this to, to face this little problem, which is sizes and so on. This is a bit too. Far. That's a tattoo machine, guys. It's always that you know if you if you do that if you play around with your coil machines, be aware that you could have uh, some some unexpected things to deal with. I don't know why we put them together or or, uh, or stuff like that because they are unpredictable. Then you have to find... Nope. I need a shorter one, but... Okay. Shorter than those ones. See how it works, if it fits. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, found it. I found what I was looking for. Now I just need to get this guy here. And 
this guy in there in here. Again, there's a bit of a work. There we go. Then I need this guy here. This is isolation between the chassis and the and the, the screw you're using. This car is a very sensitive one. This is a very very sensitive one, so you have to be very careful with them to not damage them. Okay, and then here we go. Now, now I can tighten. It's really nice. Yes, yes. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now I can use this guy here to do one extra tightness. Yeah. <laughs> then I get some... Um, because then you have to direct this guy here into the... Oh, oh, doesn't fit in. This has a lot of uh, unexpected surprise when you're doing these kind of things. Be aware that if the tattoo machines, if you deal with coil machines, you always can expect to have to deal with something you didn't expect. Okay, this guy has to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so here we go. So here we have, um, then we have, we need to see if this coin, which screws goes to these coils. Okay, mm -mm. Americans, okay, then it's a different one. Mm -hmm. It's this one here, found the right one already. Okay, the coil looks good, looks pretty decent. Oh no, that's not the right one. Because it's a um, different, different kind of, sorry, pardon guys. Um, the threads of the screw are different. No, this is wrong too. From America to UK, so we have a different sort of um, threads to the, you know, the little. Yep. So they didn't, the, the nuclear, they didn't make the the threads deep enough. So the it's very shallow, very, very, very shallow. Mm. That's not nice. I find I have possibly have a, I have a short screws which will work that too. Just have to dig them in here. Ha! Got it. Hopefully that one works. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Save, 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 save. Okay. Right, so here you go, you have the coil there. Actually, they're very nice coils, they're green. Nice and green. Yeah, this is it's fun. For me, it's always been fun to do these kind of things. I always love it, since always, you know, but some people possibly don't. It's easy to buy a coil, uh, <laughs> a, um, a rotary and work with a rotary, certain people would say. Yeah, that's right, it's easy. But everything's easy, it's not fun, right? So. And also, if you know how to do things, then you know, you just have this extra mile thing. If you know, you can do whatever you want. You can always go extra mile if you want to. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Now I see why my <laughs> went done before. Actually, it's because the guy doesn't fit. Okay. Oh. Here we have something else. Let me see. Uh, this is another coil called is from a company called Icon. Uh, oh, too sharp. Uh, from America. Also American coils. Uh, then here I would need the, the capacitor because it's not there. Uh, and it's also brand new coils. Brand new, brand new, brand new, never been used. 
Uh, I just want to put together first to see if it works. Because put together and oh, like I did minutes ago, and then oh, doesn't fit. Mm, kind of disappointing in a way. Yeah, they, this this works. But now I have to find the right screws for this because again, it's, it's, it's uh, inches. It's, uh, I don't know exactly how the, it's a difference between UK and American screws and stuff. Now me and a hunt of screws again. So maybe a lot of people don't take coils anymore and that is one of the reasons for it. <laughs> it's complicated. Okay. Apart to take a lot of time to do it. It's, it's a very nice thing guys. I love the coil machines all my life. I love them. That's how I started, right? So for me it's like a meditation thing to do. Yeah, to, to put them together, to play around with them and so on, it's, it's fun for me. But not many people would agree with that because of the fact that the sound is a little bit too high. Okay, let's try. And, um, but I really like it. Okay, you work because this is. But I think it's too high. Oh man, eh? <laughs> I try another thing. Yeah, again, same thing. Yes, the, the coil is too high. It's a perfect coil, but it's definitely too high. So, guys, unfortunately, I don't have the coils for this for this chassis. I will put together another one quickly just to finish off this for you guys to see it. Because the chassis, unfortunately, is too um, too short. I mean. You have to have a specific from from this company, the own chassis, or oh, the own coil, unfortunately. So, uh, bum, 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 bum. oh, okay. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now we'll put another coil, another chassis, which I have. I mean, I have a plenty of them. So let me do this guy here. Just first have a fun to check out here, here. This used to be one of my machine my work machines back in the day. And then now I don't of course I don't need them anymore. So here we go. And this chassis has a good thing, it has like a slide, it's like, it's like a thing you can slide the coils around if you have to. To get them the spice and make them wider and so on. And this that gives this option and it looks good. Gorgeous, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, put them on here. Put them together there. Yeah, you just have to be very careful with these coils, otherwise, to break the cable, then you can say goodbye. Or you have to open the whole coil and rewind it, which is also an option, obviously. But like a very, very long work one. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I wouldn't recommend to keep them so much apart from each other, so you should always put them as close together as possible. So you always use this is isolation little uh, washers, which they are plastic ones like this, they're very cool. And you, to isolate your cable, your, your wire and your screw from the, um, from the chassis, right, so you cannot, you should not have them contacting directly on the chassis because otherwise you're gonna have a not a pleasant feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I think some extra wash. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need extra washers. Sometimes you need extra washers. Is this kind of a novel? You don't know what's gonna happen. So here we go. Make sure nothing was needed. Yeah. There we go. The chassis is super nice. I always liked it very, very much. Now one of the washers. One. This nice little coin here. I don't know which kind you got from. Sent to. I don't know where it comes from. 
Possibly it's from Latvia. I had a guy build machines for me back in the day from Latvia and um, he sent me a lot of uh, different parts of machines on. It seems to be like one of those. Uh, uh, okay. Now you? So is you. So he make a lot of machines, possibly he made this coil for me as well, this this little guy here. Yeah. Always guys be very very put attention on the way you you, are, you tie the screws if it's not damaging the chassis, okay? It's very important to not, to not damage your chassis. Anyways, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's not high enough still, but we can play with that one, it's not a problem. Then you can use washers to lift it up as much as you need. So is there a way to do everything, right? So when you put machines together on your own, if that's your idea to create your own machine, so you're gonna face some some challenges to get the machine to right, to work right, and to make right, to look right, and so on. And that's just one of the things you should always keep in mind. You should have the tools you need, also the materials you need to get together. In this case here, okay, that's not the right screw. This is getting stuck. So you have to be careful with the screws you're using as well. If they have the, set, the right thread, because if they're not, you're gonna damage the, 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 the nuclear of the machine, the coil. And that is something you don't want to happen. Okay, that's good. So here you can see still how big gap in there. It's like extremely so big. Not perfect there but it's better it's really really cool you have a, the, the, like a paper gap air gap thing in the back in the front and the back sorry yeah so and then you can add slowly lift it uh, slowly your your front coil and your back coil if you need to okay but always try to keep always even and nice and tight oops Oh, here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I think that would do just for to see the sound of it. So then you tie it a little bit, okay? Because otherwise you can have a. Be careful. Okay, let's give this bit. Twisted here should not be twisted. Okay, tight and tight. Okay, so let's 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 make a sound a little bit to see how it looks like. Okay. Well, normally I used to have a foot switch, but nowadays I don't. So I use a battery just for us to have a fun. So this is, has no really like a positive or negative. Very nice little liner machine. Very, very nice little liner machine. Really love it. Works good. It's really nice. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And um, if you like, please thumbs up and subscribe. That would be very helpful to the channel. And yeah, if you have a question or something, just please just write them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, this was just a little the tutorial about machine, how to build the machines so on, how to put together, what to look for, what don't look for. Just make sure you always get the tattoo, you know, don't tie everything up at the first, just put things together, see if they work, if they mount together, and then slowly tie them up. And don't tie it so right, so, so. just tie it as much as you, need, you see they need it, okay? See you next time, thank you, bye.